Hello, welcome back beautiful souls. So good to be with you. Take a deep breath with me, let's land. <sighs> good. This is the second episode of the month of play. Last week we were talking about adventures and how to incorporate more in your life. Every day, every week, every month, every quarter, every year. So I hope you did your homework and chose an adventure, <clears throat> just for the fun of it. And this week, we're taking it a step further. This week, we're going to bring back the silly. And there is a number of things that you can interpret into that. First one, and maybe that's the most important one of them all. Let's take ourselves not too seriously. We're going through this beautiful adventure of life. There's so many things that happen every single day. This morning, I spilled a giant cup of coffee. Luckily, it was not very dark coffee, so it didn't make that much of a mess, but I, had, I did have a bit to clean up. Um, and instead of getting grumpy at myself or annoyed at myself, I just had to laugh and be like, oh, you clumsy little thing. <laughs> Let's clean it up, it's okay, it happens. So whether it is something that was a mishap to us, whether it was something that we said that wasn't so kind to ourselves or to another person, if it was another person, yes, of course, we get to apologize and make it right. And maybe we don't have to be so hard on ourselves all the time. Maybe we can take ourselves a little less seriously. When I'm on a mission to accomplish something, and I beat myself so hard to get it done. Maybe, maybe I can find a little bit more lightness in it. Maybe I can bring back some silly when I see that there is 979 emails in my account after I come back from vacation. Maybe I'll just throw my hands up in the air and have a good laugh about how popular I am. <laughs> maybe, maybe we can just laugh for no reason just find some silly giggles because we're alive and because it feels good to laugh yeah ah <sighs> yes more giggles more giggles is good what else about bring back the silly bring back the silly for some of the mundane tasks maybe I can be silly about cleaning up maybe I put a mop on my head and then do something with that. I don't know. That just came out of nowhere. I have to try that one. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really matter. Like whatever you can be silly with, just go for it. Just go for it. Think back to when you were three or four or five years old. We didn't used to worry about what other people thought. We were just playing, just playing. And, and that's good. That brings me to the second piece of just playing. I was at a Burning Man event last week called Botoland. It's a regional Burning Man event on the west coast of Sweden. It's all out on boats and it was beautiful. I joined a lovely large sailboat, the Emily Raven, and I spent a few days with them. They had to come back early. And so then I got to be on board of the Carmony, which was also wonderful, wonderful, lovely crew. And we just spent some time together, some really deep connection time off technology, which always helps for just being very much in the present moment. And then creating lots of silliness just because we could, just because we were in a playful mood. So on part of the Carmony, one evening we did a quest game. So we um, prepared that in the afternoon. Uh, we prepared a map. Harway and we, and Sky and Mats and Kalle, and we drew out this compass, and they had already gathered a number of quests before I joined the crew, and so we drew up some paper scrolls with each with a quest on them, and then we made them look ancient by burning the rims and then rolling them up and tying them up. And then we did a spin the bottle on top of that compass and depending on which 
direction, we would send you out on a quest. And we would whisper amongst ourselves, oh, he's gone on a west quest, a west quest. Oh, the last ones that went out on a west quest, what did they do? So we're being really playful with it. Stayed very much in character to the point where that annoyed a couple of people that were visiting. <laughs> but it's okay, it was just a game. And, and we had a lot of positive feedback just for the playfulness. Captain Blackbeard instructed everybody. They rolled a fortune dice and they were sent out on the quest. And then later on, when they fulfilled their quest, they got to come back, tell us about their mission and retrieve a reward for it. One of the many, many ways of how we were playful last week. It was a lot of fun, just making up games, making up whatever we want, because we are the artists that get to create our own lives. And yes, every one of us is an individual artist because every one of us has our perceived reality. And sometimes those realities collide. So the person that got annoyed with me being staying in character and wanting to stick to my role, they had their reality and their own art of wanting to connect with people right how they are and where they're at, not within a game. And that's okay too. So we can respect both of that, the being in the game and the not wanting to be in the game. Either one is perfectly fine. So when we are really silly and make up this stuff, let's not expect that everybody wants to join my particular way of silliness in that moment. And that's okay too. And that's okay too. Everybody gets to choose. We can still stay in our silly moment and say, okay, I go play with the next person, the person that may have fun doing this. So that was piece two, getting playful and inventing games bringing back silly games, silly moments, just as they arise. And if all of that sounds really tough, number three is think about who in your life inspires you to be silly, who makes you laugh and spend some more time with them. Whether that is your favorite comedian or a good friend, for me, one of my brothers makes me laugh so much. We get so silly together on the phone. And so he's one of the people that I love to connect with for being silly, dedicatedly. Also for many other reasons and for being silly. And then there was a couple of friends who I just love to be silly with. And we kind of get in the flow of things until we only giggle, it's fabulous. And if none of these people are around right now, then your favorite comedian, a fun movie, all of that's good. Laughter is a big boost of your immune system. So here's the science piece. <laughs> Laughter is so good for your immune system. It gets everything going, your metabolism. And I'll have to read up on the neurochemical details of why it's good for your immune system. I do know for certain that there are studies proving that. With that, dear ones, I wish you a beautiful, beautiful week. Number one, don't take yourself too seriously. Number two, create some silly games. Number three, hang out with people that make you laugh and enjoy the time with them. Sending you so much love. Come to my retreat. <laughs>